Hello everybody, Peter here. Today we're gonna do a mini series on some lighting appliances from Latvans. So we have in here some smart light bulbs and an RGB strip. They have their own app, but they can also be controlled via Wi-Fi with uh, Alexa and Google Home. So we're gonna do an unbox and a review of all of these devices that we have in here. So without any further ado, let's get into each device. Second device in this series, we're gonna look into the E14 light bulbs. So these are some smaller light bulbs that you can usually plug into a lightning appliance with a lot of light bulbs or into a desk lamp. So this has less power than its bigger counterpart, but it has the same advantages, so you can still change the color, you can still change the brightness, and uh, I'd recommend to use more of these because they do not produce that much light. They're equivalent to a 40 watt uh, traditional light bulb. But before talking about this product and before reviewing it, let's get into the unboxing. The next device that we're gonna unbox is the smaller light bulbs that um, use E14 sockets. So they produce less light and they should be used, uh, a multitude of them, if you want them to be your main light source. But if you use this for a desk lamp, then I think one should be enough. So it's uh, equivalent to a 40 watt uh, traditional light bulb. And you can change the color and the brightness of this one. So you can both change the color between cold white and white white. And you can also change like the exact color that it produces, like green, red and all that stuff. Uh, around the box, here it says the same thing that it says on the front. I think this is used for like putting them onto a shelf, so you can put them like this or like this, problem. On the back, uh, maybe I should cut this first so you can see everything a little bit better. So let's get this one out. It says that with only this light bulb and their app you can have a smart home. Questionable thing in my opinion. but. Uh, it should be quite an easy setup, so you need no hubs, you only need your router. And in here, some other specs that uh, can get as close as this without hitting the camera. And I don't think it focuses, yep, now it's focused. So you can pause the video. And also in here, uh, we see the class energy, so this is an A+, because it uses very little light because it's only 5 watts. It only produces 470 lumens, which in my opinion is not enough for lighting your room, but it depends on your scenario, right? Um, this seal is already cut. And in here we have a small paperwork with warnings and some instructions. So it looks like this. And then I don't think anybody reads this. And the light bulbs in here have thrown quite a party. So uh, hopefully they work, they haven't hit each other. Here is the light bulb, it's quite small. In here there's the transforming circuit that powers these LEDs, so they do not work on 2020 AC. They actually work internally on 5 DC, I think. So they convert the power that they have and uh, in here there's also the Wi-Fi uh, antenna that it uses to communicate uh, with your router so you can change the properties of this light bulb. It's quite a big thing in here because it has lots of circuits for transformation for Wi-Fi. Depending on your lightning appliance this, look, this might look bad but uh, if you know how to hide it then it would look quite okay. So three light bulbs, nothing fancy in here. So uh, let's go to setting them up and see what they can do. Now we're gonna set up the light bulbs. So I have already set three light bulbs onto this chandelier and uh, I also have to set up two here on camera so you can see how it's done. So when I'll power on the switch, two of them from the right are not gonna blink because they're already set up, but the other two from the left are gonna blink because they want to be set up. So right now if I go into the app, 
Let me see if I can focus it a little. And I click Add. It has already detected them. So I'm just gonna set go to Add. And uh, we need to add all. This is gonna set you the password for your internet or your router. Now you hit next. And uh, it says it. I need to click this add all button up top again. Oh no. So it's doing an update actually. You see here there's something loading. That's a firmware update. So the first one has updated. Let's wait for the second one as well. They have been added, both of them. So now if I hit next, I can change their name. I'm not gonna do this now. I'm just gonna hit here, enter. And you can group them. So I do have this group called Chandelier with the ones that are already added. So I'm gonna do a new group with all of these slides. So the ones that I have set up now and the old ones that have been set up. Uh, hit OK. Group name, I uh, just give it a name. And now group 4-5. we can change the color. So, the app is not well built. So even though the light bulbs were powered on, it prompted me to power them on. So now I can change the color of the light. I can change the brightness to make them more bright, less bright. So here are some presets, cold light, warm light, and everything in between. If I go to scenes, there is read mode, some working mode, casual, colorful. So now it's gonna cycle to some colors. The main colors basically red, green, blue, uh, other shades of yellow, magenta. Uh, but I don't find it that interesting because it's not going smoothly. Dazzling is basically the same thing. The fact that interests me the most is actually when you do a new profile and you can pick your own color. So let me get this in focus. Because of the lightning situation, the camera is not adjusting as I wish to. So you can just pick your color and set up a mood for you. You can also change the brightness in it here as well. This is the basic functionality. There are also some voice commands for Alexa. I'm gonna do this in another video for all of these devices when they're set up. So uh, without any further ado, this has been the video. Thanks for watching.